Gary Rosolo from Rosolo Guitars. Welcome to the workshop. I love hand tools and I love hand planes. And I've been introduced through Timbercon to these Lubin planes, a range of planes that have just got me very excited. They are so beautifully made and there is such a nice range of planes. Um, and I'd like to talk to you about them and show you a, a bit more in depth detail about each plane. Why do I like these planes? In general, they are just really well made. The craftsmanship, the quality of the casting and the machining is second to none. I have been using this little low angle block plane from Lubin. All I've had to do is just slightly hone the blade I did give a little dress to the edges just to check how flat they were. Man, they were spot on. Uh, it is just exceptional to hold and to use. So the, the quality of all of these planes is actually really amazing. I've got three Lubin block planes here. We've got a standard one. We've got a low angle block plane and and a little bronze block plane. Now, what's really nice about all of these is they're very, very comfortable. They've cast this beautiful bronze uh, cap that fits the palm of your hand very nicely. Great to hold a nice weight, so you, can, you really feel like you've got a plane in your hand when you pick one of these up. I've already mentioned that the accuracy of the machining is second to none. Beautifully finished, everything's square. The blades, when you pop the blade out, and I'm gonna do that for you now, you undo the bronze cap and lift the blade out, bevel up blade. Um, inside, you can see beautifully machined and finished. All the details are just exquisite. Even the blades are beautifully made, very nicely machined, and they'll hone up immediately to a really nice sharp edge. I've run this over my whetstones, and I don't know if you can see in this light, the polished edge that's appeared on the back where it's just leveled out perfectly within a matter of minutes, less than two minutes. And uh, the same on the bevel. So I've just kept the bevel as it was machined and I've just honed it and uh, given it a bit of a, a strop on a piece of leather and it cuts really beautifully. So we've got three different block planes here from Lubin. As I mentioned before, the regular block plane this one I use uh, for most things. It's a general purpose plane, but I prefer using it on the, on the shooting board. So uh, a piece of equipment like this that you have in your workshop and you would put in a piece of wood, either end grain or long grain, and you would use this plane to clean up an edge and you would use it on its side. Whereas this low angle block plane, which gives us probably about a 35 degree cut rather than a 45 degree cut, it's primarily designed for end grain. So you would use it on the end grain of a piece of wood and you would be able to plane it because the angle of attack is a lot lower it cuts the end grain a lot cleaner and, and uh, gives you a better finish um, and slightly less resistance. At the same time, this is also a general purpose plane. It depends on what you're doing. When I address the edges of a guitar side, for example, then 
I would go for this plane or if I wanted a slightly smaller lighter plane in my hand then I would opt for this brass low angle block plane. Uh, it is very comfortable in the hand and very easy to hold so you can do things uh, with a lot more ease with this smaller model plane. We've got two planes here from Lubin which are rebating planes or rabbit planes as the Americans call them and this one is a beautifully made thing it, it kind of looks a bit like a Lockwood door lock but it's it's actually a side rebate plane and I'll show you one of the uses for this and also we've got this small uh, rabbit block plane um, which is a, a general purpose plane as well but it's designed for just cleaning up the edge of a rebate and we'll demonstrate that in a sec. This one, the side rebate plane, is a tool that you would have in your workshop that you may only use once or twice but man it's going to get you out of trouble. What it's designed to do is to clean up the walls of a trench. Say so you're building a bookshelf and you've cut a whole heap of trenches or dados for the shelves to fit into but your shelves are just slightly tight. That's a good thing. You just want them so they fit in perfectly. You can use this tool to clean up the edges or the walls of your trench and it might only be one, one little cut and then bingo, your shelf fits in, you've got a perfect job. This is the tool. What I would use this for is occasionally when I route the trench for my truss rods in a guitar neck and I might want to clean up the edges of that then I could run this along and just clean up the wall of the trench for the truss rod in the neck. So the side rebate plane has a depth stop fence which is adjustable. If we undo the adjusting knob we can slide that fence up and down and set it to the required height or depth of your rebate. So once the fence is set this will ride on the surface of your material and the blade and the edge will ride along the edge of your trench and just clean it up. This plane is just for cleaning up a rebate making it nice and tidy you might have cut it cut a rebate on the saw and you just want a nice clean planed edge then you would use this tool you can also use it as a general purpose plane because it does plane beautifully it's very stiff and very comfortable uh, and quite usable as a kind of all-purpose block plane as well but its intended purpose is to just clean up the edges of your rebate. What I have here are three shoulder planes from Lubin and we have uh, a number 91, the baby shoulder plane, a number 92, the medium shoulder plane and the big daddy number 93 shoulder plane. I don't know if you can see on camera just how beautifully made these are. This is fresh out of the box basically and the casting is just exquisite. This lovely little pattern in the black areas and this beautifully honed and polished edge as well as the, the planing surface. Just exquisite. Really nicely made. Shoulder planes are used for basically cleaning up a rebate. Um, when I build guitars I sometimes use a little shoulder plane to clean up the edge of the face veneer when uh, on the headstock so that where it meets the surface of the neck I can get a perfect 90 degrees. Let me show you just what I'm talking about. One look is always worth a thousand words. So in a situation like this I have the headstock uh, at about a 10 degree angle to the neck and I have this little edge here which needs to be 
at 90 degrees to the to the fretboard or the face of the neck and sometimes what I'll do is just go in with the shoulder plane and just clean up that little edge perfectly so it's at 90 degrees. Let me show you what they look like on the inside because they're quite beautifully made. I'll just move these ones out of the way and here we are. If we undo this little threaded screw adjuster which locks the blade in place we remove the metal cap then you have access to the blade we can lift up the blade turn it on its side and just shimmy it out of its little home and there we have the blade from the shoulder plane and you can see beautifully made it's got this lovely little uh, what would you call it a gear tooth mechanism which fits in with the adjusting plate and the adjusting knob so that when the blade's in position you can set it precisely. This one is a router plane. It's just a simple plane with a, a blade that comes in various widths that you can set to a depth and clean up the bottom of a trench. I use these sometimes when I've routed the slot for my truss rods. Sometimes I just need to do a little clean up pass and I use a small hand. I like using hand planes. They're, they're nice to use and they're quiet, which is a, a big advantage. So for something like this, there's a little trench there. You can go in and you can just start planing, cleaning up the bottom of that trench and get a nice flat beautiful even surface. Leuven also make some beautiful spoke shows and here are two samples that we have. The bronze one and also the steel one. Beautifully made wooden handles, lovely brass threads, quite a thick substantial blade um, ready to use pretty well out of the box. Great little weapon I use sometimes when I'm neck shaping, especially if I've got a mahogany neck or a plain maple neck. The spoke shave is my go-to tool for shaping the roundness on the back of the neck. We also have from Lubin this beautifully made bronze spoon carving plane which you can use to hollow out any surface. In use uh, it's a very handy little tool for creating a hollowed out surface to match that kind of shape. Beautifully made tool, uh, very nice blade, quite thick and substantial again, adjustment with a screwdriver, a little bit of extra pressure will allow a slightly heavier cut. I would use a plane like this when I'm hollowing out a, a piece of maple or spruce on an arch top guitar. I'm surrounded by a few products from Lubin and I have to say when I first opened the box and saw some of these things I was actually very excited and very impressed. I mean look at the quality of these products and they're not an expensive arrangement of uh, planes. These low, low angle block planes, just very functional and very exquisite. The spoke shave cuts beautifully, the spoon carving plane, the router plane, the shoulder planes, the rebating plane. These are the sorts of planes that you may not have on your tool rack but you would like to have well now you can have it and the price is not going to break the bank yet the quality is superb the machine the finishing the thickness and quality of the blade the way it holds an edge you can't go wrong they are indeed a product that is 
the equivalent of a very expensive plane. You couldn't do much better than to buy some of these planes for your workshop. The Leuven products are available direct from Timbercon. You can go to one of their stores in either Perth or Melbourne. You can even type in timbercon.com.au and purchase a Lubin product online. Lubin, authenticity and humanity. No, <laughs> don't have to put that. <laughs>